The one, the only Debbie Meyer is live with us on HSN. Hope you had a great holiday. We're still in the midst of that holiday feeling. Debbie, to celebrate tonight. In the I know you. <laughs> You're on the TV and everybody smiles. Folks, oh. we're going to have some fun right now. We have only 1,854 of these available. These will go in a heartbeat. I'm Debbie Meyer, offended. true bestseller. These are the amazing Debbie Meyer magnetic measuring cups and spoons. Easy, simple, affordable, solves a problem. I'll keep you posted with quantity, but at $12.90, these will go fast. A virtual perfect five-star customer pick. And Debbie, everybody can relate to this story. Oh, come on, come on over here. Look at this box. <laughs> Look in this box. Have you done this dig? You better believe through? it. Okay. Where is? Where is? Okay. Oh, oh, look! I found them. Oh, there's my measuring spoons. Oh, I want. Let's. Oh, yeah. I want this one. It's on the hook, okay. though. Now I've got all this here, and I got to get that out of the way because I just want to use one. Okay. How do I do that? Okay. Wait a minute. Now I got to measure. Ah, oh, this, this I love because I want to use this one. Right. I have to hold all this in my other hand right. when I do. Okay. Oh, this can be transformed into this. Look, 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 look. I got back my whole drawer. <laughs> and you want to see something? I'm going to knock them over. They're rolling around in the drawer. They're magnetic. They stay together. They're staying together because everything just as Adam said, has a magnet in the handle. I hated those loops. I hated that handful of cups trying to keep them clean. Right. I had to wash everything just because I wanted to use one. If I want to use, let's say, I want to get down here and use a half a cup, I pull that one out. Put the rest like this. I use only the half cup. You want to see how I grab it? Have a look. Specially designed. Specially designed. This is nat this is natural. Put your fingers under it, your thumb on top. That's natural. Guys, not a stick. I'll tell you what we'll do, because we have close to 600 people dialing in already. Let's put five minutes on the clock. When the clock hits zero, these will all have sold out. At $12.90, yes. these are priced to sell out. The best value ever on an absolutely awesome product. Debbie, as you always set out to do, it's about low price, affordability, but making life easier. Solve this problem. I couldn't stand that I could not lay my measuring spoons on the table. Right. I always had to stick my finger under the handle. How do you prep with, with measurements if you can't leave them in your measuring spoon? Right, of course. Right? So have a look here. This is one tablespoon. Look at it. It's level on the table. This is three quarters of a tablespoon. Yes. It's a hard yes. measurement to find in measuring spoons. This one right here is a half a teaspoon. This one is a, no, I'm sorry, that's three, that is a teaspoon. You get them all. This is a half a teaspoon, and that's a quarter of a teaspoon. My cups also, and you see, it's a tent style handle right there at the back. I've never seen that before. I did that because that's actually easier to grab as well instead of that skinny, silly stick. Right. All of my cups have this easy grab handle. That's, you're going to get all of these, and it's embossed, right, it's embossed right on the handle so you never lose the measurement. There's one cup. There's three quarters. There's two thirds. There's a half. There's one third, and there is a quarter. So I gave you all the measurements instead of you having to shake a little out to try and figure out how to use them. Now, how do they get used? Easy. Watch this. They fit, the small ones fit right inside your spice jars, so you just twirl Perfectly around sized. and come out. That's easy. Okay, this is the easy stuff. All right, I can... All right, I'm going to go into a, a jar like this. Notice that all of my measures are round. Yeah. So when you go in, you twist around in a circle and come out with a full measure. What I like to say is baking is science. Right. You need to have your measurements right when you bake. You can pretty much wing it on anything else, but baking, you better be right or you don't get what you intended to bake. There's a little quarter teaspoon just pulled straight out of the box. This is what I love. I have a little bit of a shake to my hand when I'm trying to fill a spoon with Everybody uh, can relate to that, yeah, up, right? yeah. So now, because you can lay that on the table, you can fill it while it's laying down. Look at that. Look at that. Because it sits upright. It sits straight like that. It's sitting there. I don't have to, I don't have to touch that again until I want to add it to my recipe. And when I do want to add it, watch how easy this is to pick up. It's not that silly skinny stick. No, 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 no. Right? So here we go. This is... I've got some beans I want to measure into a soup. Debbie, with everyone calling in, uh, about go. 600 or 700 now left if you want them. Lowest price ever. Again, it's getting those kitchen tools, those essentials. Let's you get see. both the spoons and you're going to get the cups for the lowest price ever. I want three quarters of a cup. 
I only have to use the three quarter cup True. measurement. I don't have a handful of other things, right? right. Like, the, like that terrible mess over there. I scoop it out, I shake it, I have a full measure. I use these as prep bowls all the time. I get recipes ready. These become my prep bowls. I'm pre-measured, it's easy. Let's look again at what you get by having my measuring cups and spoons. You get a drawer. The drawer is free again. You don't have the culture. And you know you keep buying these things. Why? Because you bend them. You try to take them apart because you want to get rid of that stupid. Of course. And then you're lost because they all get loose. We've tried everything. I know you have. But the worst is this handful of metal when all I want to do is a half a cup. Right. There's what I have to do for half a cup. When I want a half a cup, it's right I there. do the convenience this. factor. And then when I wash one, I don't have to wash them all. The so then I have flour and everything all over it. So look at this. It actually rolls. I'm going to do it in my hands. You can roll them around. It stays together. In your door. Right. Stays together. When I want this one, three quarters of a cup, I've got just this one. And folks, the, the, the measurement is on there. It won't wear off. No. It's hard to see on TV because it's actually... It's, it's embossed. Right. But it doesn't wear off like a lot yeah. of them do. And then you don't know what it is. And I'm I useless the, in the kitchen. I've had decals come off. You know? <laughs> and then you're guessing. Yeah. Cooking is not a guessing game. Okay. Look at this. They stack beautifully. You can see here, they all sit level. They're easy to pick up. They are clean measures. I did them round for a reason. When you're baking, here's another thing. When you're baking and you scoop with a straight-sided scoop, right. you actually get voids. You, and if you're a baker, you know this has happened. You suddenly realize there's a, there's a space right. where there should have been flour. How much flour am I missing? How much sugar am I missing? These are a clean scoop. You'll always get a perfect measurement every time. Top rack dishwasher safe. Throw them back in your drawer. They're there and ready when you're ready for them. Again, the, the get back only, your drawer space. And that's that is so. When you see that, how many of us want?